Hey everyone, and thanks for joining us for our show, A Cup of Ice and Fire, where we explore the fantasy worlds of George R. R. Martin's series of novels, A Song of Ice and Fire. I'm Jill. And I'm Kira. And together, we are the New World Slackers. And honey, you might as well call us both Clarissa, because we're about to explain it all. Welcome to A Cup of Ice and Fire, the show where we delve deep into the nooks and crannies of this epic story that you might have missed and present some really cool theories mm -hmm. about where we think our favorite characters like Arya Stark or Tyrion <sighs> Lannister may end up in the future. Hopefully not on a, on a chopping block. Oh my god. <laughs> but before we get into all the nitty gritty of theory crafting, we thought it might be smart to get, you know, everyone on the same page mm -hmm. about the world and which the story takes place. As well as learn a little bit about the history, culture, politics, and as well as looking at things like magic and how nature works within this, this world. Think of the first six videos in this series as a primer. And you know your girls love primers. Yeah. <laughs> so just so you know, these videos will be chock full of spoilers. Mm. So if you're not caught up with reading the books or watching the TV show, Heathens. please be aware that we talk about everything in this series. So if you care about spoilers, you have been warned, heathens. <laughs> and although we've literally spent a couple years researching this information mm -hmm. before presenting it to you, we acknowledge that we could have gotten something wrong or missed something. We also might catch everything, every plot twist, and come up with a theory on that, but still get it wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's kind of the thing about theory crafting, though. You have no idea if you're correct about your theory till the author tells you. Mm -hmm. And then all those signs and symbols, they might not turn out to be what you thought they were. So if you have a catch a mistake here or you found an awesome alternate theory that you'd like to share in the comment section we would love to hear from you and we mm -hmm. know other people would too just remember to always keep it respectful and use spoiler tags when you need to please mm, yes also if you'd like to check out any of our sources you know maybe read the passage that we're discussing you can find the citation notes in the description box below mm -hmm. so oh Speaking of sources, uh, just so you know, we've pulled our information from several sources, most of which are almost all more or less canon. So obviously the five books themselves, the World of Ice and Fire companion book, the Lands of Ice and Fire companion maps, uh, A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Tales of Duncan Egg, uh, the companion stories written within this universe like The Dance with the Dragons and The Princess and the Queen, as well as the Ice Dragon novella, obviously the HBO TV series The Game of, I Game of Thrones. <laughs> And so spake Martin, a collection of questions about this series poised by readers like yourself over the years that George R. R. Martin has answered. Although we do want to note that we don't really look at the HBO TV show as strictly canon. Because... Read the book. <laughs> True. But also because it differs so greatly from the books by now. And the author himself makes it clear that these are two different canons. So while we do refer back to the show in our videos, we do think that it can provide us some clues when we're theory crafting. But we just want to be clear. Our theories are based on the novels, and like I said, while we make predictions about the future of the TV show too, we base it all on the books first and foremost. Also, the Ice Dragon novella, that's more of a hint-like book as opposed to strictly canonical, so we do take that into consideration. <laughs> so now with all that business out of the way, let's get down to the story of Westeros, Essos, and the rest as we dive into the primer videos. As mentioned before, the first six videos in the series will act as a primer so everybody can get on the same page about the world that we're exploring and how it works. So these six videos will be covering the following subjects. Episode one will be a brief overview of the world and timeline of a major historical events. Episode two will be the places, peoples, and cultures of Essos and other continents. Episode three will be the places, peoples, and culture of Westeros. Episode four, myths, legends, and religions. Episode 5, Magic and Nature. Episode 6, Current Events in the Song of Ice and Fire and Major Character Profiles. Now, we realize that is a metric boatload of information, and those are just the primers. But as you can see, we've helpfully broken it down into six separate videos that we suggest that you watch these in order before you check out the rest of the series. That being said, we really want to thank you for checking out our channel, and this show in particular. Be sure to come back every other week for new content, and if you like this show, why not check out our other show, Unmasked, where we go deep into the lore of DC Comics Multiverse and share stories of your favorite heroes like Batman, The Flash, Green Arrow, Superman, and Wonder Woman. So, without further ado, let's light our glass candles, 
sip our essence of nightshade, and tell some stories. <laughs>